Sunday, 27 April 2014. This terrier crossed 14 years old female, not spit, came in yesterday with vomiting and uh, was given the IV drip with different light. Today looks much better, but uh, now you can see this morning or so, lots of dirty red brownie discharged from the vagina. So this confirmed that the dog vomited because of pymetra. This probably was a close pymetra because the owner said they didn't see anything. They didn't see anything at home three days ago. But now the pymetra has opened up, so it becomes open pyo. And the flow of pass from the uterus is a lot. But because of this uh, drip, uh, the dog looks much better now. So they want to bring home and ask me uh, what will happen if you go home. I would say that the dog will continue to give uh, will continue passing vagina discharge and uh, and uh, will, will, will die maybe within a week because of the infection. Although antibiotics can can stop the in, in infection. Now this dog had breast tumors on one side, <laughs> breast tumor one side, and uh, and uh, another vet had removed one side of it. Then now the other side has tumors again. So. So this is another problem. But now you can see that this dog certainly is much livelier. And uh, I have asked to give glucose IV for, for about 10 minutes in addition to the Hartman. The Hartman was given earlier on. And uh, I will bait you. Spartan G6. This dog is no more, no more uh, lethargic. So now the owner has to decide whether they will agree to a emergency spay or just bring the dog home. This was the original intention was a treatment for one day with drips and then uh, bring home in the home, the dog, the second day. Now, this is probably a case of close pymetra in a 14 year old female unspaid terrier cross. Changing to, changing to, uh, changing to open pymetra now. Now, I can see that the dog is really energetic, wanting to go home. But uh, this, uh, unless an emergency stay is done, this problem will come back again. The infection of the womb will come back again.